Elsewhere around the world, the foreign ministers of Russia and Ukraine held the first high-level talk since Moscow started its invasion. The meeting comes after Ukraine accused Russian forces of bombing a maternity ward at a hospital. However, the session ended without any progress. Am ji has the latest. The foreign ministers of Russia and Ukraine have met for face-to-face -face talks but ended without any progress. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov discussed a 24-hour ceasefire, but no agreement could be reached. This was on the sidelines of Diplomacy Forum near Antalya in Turkey, with their Turkish counterpart also participating in the meeting. Kuleba called on creating a humanitarian corridor to allow citizens to evacuate from the city of Mariupol close to the Russian border, but he said Minister Lavrov was not in a position to commit himself to it, as it seems there are other decision makers for this matter in Russia. Kuleba said his counterpart brought traditional narratives to the table and stressed that Ukraine will not surrender. I want to confirm once again that Ukraine did not surrender is not surrendering and will not surrender. We are ready for diplomacy. We are looking for diplomatic solutions. But while there are no such solutions, we will be dedicated by sacrificing ourselves to defend our land, our people, from the Russian aggression. Lavrov said that if the Western nations had not rejected their proposal on security guarantees, Moscow would not have engaged in conflict with Ukraine, adding that the West is behaving dangerously over Ukraine. Lavrov added that Russia is willing to continue negotiations with Ukraine and President Vladimir Putin would not refuse a meeting with his Ukrainian counterpart, Volodymyr Zelensky. Although officials from Kyiv and Moscow have held several rounds of talks, this is the first time that Moscow has sent a minister since the start of Russia's invasion last month. Thursday's meeting comes a day after an apparent Russian airstrike hit a children's hospital in the city of Mariupol, where at least 17 were injured. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.